This video sponsored by my patrons. Thank you to my $10 patrons for being patrons in the patronage chat where you can ask me questions directly and get into the Lifetime Swap Meet channel. How are you doing? What a cute little baby wallpaper. Isn't it cute? Is it? Oh, it is, oh it's Blake. She's on a little motorcycle. It's so chibi. Uh, look at these speakers, though. Let's see. How do they relate? Hold on. Uh, let's wait. Hold on. I'm taking the camera off my face. Okay, there's there's like a scale that usually, like I expect when a box is big, and this is not a small box. I mean, it's not as big as like the boot carts there, but it's like, it doesn't look like you're gonna get a four inch driver in there, but you do. You get this little composite, uh, they call it paper, but it doesn't, it looks, yeah, it's definitely weaved with a um, little surround and a little waveguide. And look at that little soft dome in like the cage of death. And there's a shine, you see me? Hi, glad I did a face reveal before this speaker. How are you doing? So hold on, let me drop everything and put this back on my head hole. Shh, don't tell them you have a hole in your head. These are the T4s. And I'm gonna say it like the third time now. This is the brand. The brand is... Tretitri. Tit. Tretitri. T4. And these were sent by Linsol. Linsol sent me like a grab bag of this company's stuff. You might recall the traffic cone Bluetooth speaker that was a complete waste of like $700. And if you look at the price on these, it's $300. And so I was after, I did the traffic cone first, and then I melted one of the amplifiers because apparently they sent me 220 volt only amplifiers. And I didn't realize, and it worked for four hours. Sounding amazing, the amplifier. Sounded amazing. And then magic smoke. And I'm like, huh. Well, I guess we should do these on a different amplification setup then. So I've got, you might remember her. Well, you probably don't remember her because I'm gonna put it on after the review. This is the Ayama uh, A07. This is like a $60 amplifier, but it's capable of 300 watts per channel uh, into four ohms. Now these, I don't think are four ohms. I think they're eight. Let's see if the back registers anything. No. There's nothing on it. Wait, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. We have to... <sighs> the problem with shiny-ass speakers, I have to touch them, and I just... maybe I had a turkey sandwich like a little while ago. There is labeling. It's down there, and it's in Chinese. Hi. It says 90 dB, 50 to 100 watts, 8 ohms, T4, and it claims down to 45 hertz. Now... I would be remiss to talk about a four inch speaker without talking about the RB42s, which are still for sale and a little bit more than half the cost of these. So like 40% off you get the RB42s. I think they're a better speaker. But that said, these have done way better than I thought they would. I was completely expecting after that goddamn farce that was the traffic cone speaker, I don't remember the name of it, these actually work. I am using like a cheap amplifier, but if you haven't seen my review of the Ayama amplifiers, what? The Fosse, the Ayamas, they're using that new Texas Instruments ship that's capable of like, it's literally capable of 300 watts into two channels into four ohms. And when you're not pushing it that hard, uh, if you're using like eight ohms, or you're pushing it, you know, 50, 60% of load, it's so fucking clean. So don't, don't knock the little amplifier. I am, however, preamping no one remembers this thing. I did a review on it. Everyone should have bought one. And they should be talking about it, and they're not. This is the Aoun Flamingo. Get that off there. This is a little tube pre DAC with headphone out. They actually are selling one. I went when I went to Germany, Aoun had a booth there, and they're gonna be selling one of those without the headphone out for even cheaper. That thing's like 200 bucks. They were selling an even cheaper one. And it comes with a little remote, and you get to hit the button and it either uses the tube as a pre or it doesn't. And the DAC is good enough for this job and it has a remote control volume and I can hit play on the, uh, well, I'm using this remote. Feel your By the way, I just realized I don't listen to nearly enough Prodigy and Gravity Kills. You gotta have that 90s hard rock, like industrial stuff. It's gotta come back. It's gotta come back or I'm gonna make AI generated. I swear I'll do it. Done. That's down from Gravity Kills. Let's put on enough from Gravity Kills. Here we go. I don't know if Gravity Kills will get me... What if that's the only 
band from the 90s that I could play on YouTube without getting like a copyright strike. So I, I can't play uh, obviously a lot of it. If you want to hear me play lots of music, please feel free to subscribe to my Patreon and subscribe star because the sound demos are now there. All of them and new ones and I can play Gravity, you know what? I'm adding Gravity Kills enough because this is one of my favorite of the, uh, I'm adding that to the new test so I could play. I'm sure that's enough to get me copyright. Four, four seconds of a song from Cyberpunk, done. So yeah, I've been sitting here with these little speakers. They're up in the boot cart stands, in case you're wondering, because they're very, very nice looking stands. They cost almost twice as much as the speakers. And they shouldn't. I'm gonna, I, I'd give shit to boot cart for those stands. I can't give shit for the design. If you're paying for the design, they're absolutely worth five hundred dollars, five fifty. Like ah, oh. but you like you take them apart, and it's like IKEA could sell this for like eighty bucks, and make a profit. So God bless Bucart for making them. They come in all sorts of different colors, like white and then sapel and then natural. These are the black ones. These were these were sent to me by mistake. They were trying to send me a replacement for one of my things, and the, oops, we accidentally sent this. They never asked for it back because it's worth eighty dollars. But um, sitting on these speaker stands. Using that amplifier, using that, either with the tube on or off, because you could disable it. These are impressive little speakers. They actually produce surprisingly good amounts of low end. They are ported in the back. I feel like the one thing about the, the Mica RB42s is they need so much power. And I'd like to point out that on that amplifier, which I just described to you as being a massive 300 watt per channel, I have that volume nailed. And I've got that at 90 out of 100. Actually, you know what? It might be 90 out of 99. Let's... Yeah. 90 out of 99. Here's 99 out of 90 out of 99. I mean, I could see the drivers getting thrown forward, and i got to tone it down a little bit. But, um... That means power hungry. So this might not be an... Adv I was hoping if you're going to be a great four-inch speaker... Be a great foreign speaker that has an advantage over the competition, which the competition strictly in the foreign speaker world is the Mica RB42, which every time I get a chance to re-review it in my brain, I do so. And I think it's got a little bit more going for it than these do, just because it's a fucking miracle. But I'm not disappointed in these. I, I want to use this video to sort of like as an ambassadorship to try what? Hi. He's back. I need to go close the door. Um, these are not terrible speakers. If you want to spend $300 on a very, very, very black, shiny box, hi. Um, you could do worse than this. I just don't know if they're worth like as much time and effort as I'd put into a normal review. That's why I'm sponsoring it by the $10 patrons are sponsoring this video because cute wallpaper with the little cute little tiny bikes and little cute little tiny speakers but it still works so i'm not gonna bullshit you this is gonna be a short little review uh, i was sent to these by sent these by linsol i'm hoping to get like look at this tube amp the tita treat the teddy trip this is a tube amp with like vertical like horizontal grills protecting the tubes it's 220 as well i didn't blow that one up i blew up the solid state one um yeah no that's that's it we're we are here we're literally just here to test that amplifier on this here. I'll switch it back to tube mode since I'm no longer reviewing these speakers. They're great. They're, they're great. They're not worth $300. They're, they're pretty enough to be $300, but I know there's competition that beats them for way less. In fact, hold. One second. I'd like to thank Periat for sending out these speaker cables. This is their new line. They're still working on the design, but you can grab them now or raw cable. Uh, the surround sound over here is actually set up with Periapt uh, speaker cable, all Magomi stuff. It's great. Um, anyway. I'm an it's just, it's, they're just better speakers. RB42s, by the way. This is the problem with being a Z reviewer. Well, I guess with being a Z person is like this is it i have to know that these exist and that these came out four inch driver soft dome four inch driver with a soft dome a smaller soft dome 
but ooh, smaller speaker, maybe not as good looking if you particularly like the shiny black box, but this is so dumb. You know, everything is going to get compared to the R to the Micah RB42s until the Micah RB42s get beaten. And I'm, I've only been, I've had this channel 10 years, so I've only been really paying attention to maybe seven of those, because the first three were like, I like a headphone. Um, they've got another four or five years in them. RB42s are not, someone was complaining recently that I don't focus on the cheap stuff. Why don't you look at all the cheap stuff? Because I've have seen and heard the cheap stuff but you want nine videos a month of like well look at this new speaker it's not as good as the rb42 or the edifier 1700 bts or the i've qualified like maybe 10 or 15 items as far as speaker quality under 250 dollars and that's it until they're beaten i don't have to look at anything else and I, they have to get beaten because just telling you something is shit just assume everything's shit unless i've said so otherwise Ooh. Glitch Mob Mixtape. Crush Mode Mixtape. Ladies and gentlemen, the Glitch Mob. It's fast forwarding. I can't believe RB42s are this good, by the way. And I'm in the tube mode, so let me take it out of tube mode, which will take the depth away and add a little bit more power to the and focus to the details, but... should see if this gets pulled on YouTube because I want to I would play the entirety of the glitch glitch mob crush mode mixtape you know these can't do that so <clears throat> thank you Linsol for sending me the tits the they've given me another excuse to yell about how great the RB42s are and also to mention the Aoun Flamingo once more and the Ayayama AO7, which that is going to be kicking around around here because I've got stacks of monoblocks and other monoblocks. But why? Why not that? So yeah, this is a short review. Thank you for stopping by. Wallpaper in the Wallpaper Horde. Patreon, subscribe, start, see reviews early, participate in yard sales, hear the loss of sound demos. I may not even sound demo these because I'm kind of tired. I've sound demoed everything I've got across and I might sound demo these. It'll just be like next month. I, I got other more exciting speakers to listen to right now. So yeah, this is done. Get your RB42s in the link in the description. Get your own Flamingo because that thing's fucking amazing. If you have a living room, just leave it on. Just, oh my God, I'm gonna put it in tube mode. You know what? I'm gonna put it back in focus mode. Oh, it's great. Everything I have here, this is the cutest little 170, probably another 170, 60 fucking dollars walk and then buy periap cables for probably another 60. that's it goodbye now ten dollars a month private uh, telegram uh, goodbye goodbye short one goodbye short goodbye short goodbye